Hello, I'm Lady Calamere. Welcome to my channel. I am doing my 225th presentation. It will be on the Greek goddess, Tyche. So, Tyche, who is she? She is the goddess of fortune and luck. Good and bad luck. Both good and bad. So, Tyche is known in, or her counterpart is known, her other side is known as, as well as the goddess of fortune, as Fortuna in Rome. Are they the same goddesses? Who knows? Most... Or probably pretty close to each other I should say so Taiki her parents depending on which uh, cult you believed as through the Homeric hymn and Hesiod Theogony she is the daughter of two Titans which makes her a Titan most likely, Tethys and Okenos. Her other parentages seems to have been Prometheus. But that's a, a very rare citation of her par parentage. Her other parentage, her father was said to be Hermes. I don't think that's a very popular one either. Now, in the Orphic Hymn and the Pindar Olympian Ode, her father is Zeus. Tyche is saying the whole different things. And we have three of the four things that she holds. A wheel, a rudder, and a cornucopia. Well, the other thing that she also holds that she's not seen here is a ball. So Taiki, she can bring, like I said, good or bad luck. It is said that she gives sometimes gives good luck to an undeserving athlete so why because they propitiated her and made her happy the mistake that people make is that oh taiki is the goddess of good luck and good fortune, she's also the other side. Her tarot card that represents her is, the, of course, the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel represents the motion of luck. The continuing flow of luck until the day you die. With the rudder, as she is here, holding... And it looks, it, if you look at it, it looks, from this point of view, it looks like a scythe, doesn't it? But it is a rudder. And this shows her aspect of the goddess, the deity, directing the world's fortune and fate. With the cornucopia, she offers prosperity abundance and fertility of good luck of things with the ball when she holds the ball when she's juggling her ball because she likes to juggle her ball she loves to do that but also the ball has a deeper significance meaning the uh, the unsteadiness of fortune of 
it could be in the hand it could be bouncing off a wall it could be bouncing on the floor it's just constantly moving so it's unsteadiness you can have good luck bad luck bad luck good luck or no luck at all here she looks like almost like the queen isis the goddess not the terrorist group It was said in ancient Greece that each city had their own Tyche. And Athens believed they were totally blessed, even though they were dedicated to Athena, the goddess. They also had a dedication to Tyche and said that Tyche favored their city the best. So each city would be uh, said to be under uh, Taiki's blessing and each one had his Taiki. Now, it's also with the weather, some, the rudder, she was sometimes conceived or considered and asked and in this respect, basically one in the Moray, the goddess, the Moray, the goddess of fates. And the with when she was with uh, Plutos, P L U T O S, or when she was holding the the horn of of Amalthea, this was her aspect or her her form where she gave. Uh, abundance of gifts and very good lots of good fortune lots of good luck there's also said that she hangs out with nemesis and she's well she's good she's good for spun she's good buddies you know with nemesis and nemesis <laughs> It said when Taiki kept on giving gifts to someone and too much good luck and they were squandering it or they weren't appreciative, the nemesis will come in and take that from them. But again, uh, Taiki can give or take away. Now when you look at her, especially under Okenis, which was a titan of the ocean, and Tethys, which was a titan of uh, waters, we see that her element is actually water. Now, it was said when you look up in the sky and you see the constellation of Virgo, there is Tyche. And so her astrological sign would then be Virgo, that she was in the constellation of Virgo. So Tyche was also called uh, Tyche Sotera, which means Tyche or save the base Tyche, the savior goddess. And in here she saves, she saves people. She saves people from great disasters or great misfortune. And she saves the city. She can also be prayed during time of warfare. Not that she is like a warrior going to go in and fight. But she can bless a platoon. She can bless an army. She can bless a nation to win. And he, of course, when you have a winner, you have a loser. So she can make a winner or she can make a loser out of a person, a, a town, a city, a nation.
So during when you're having a fight with someone or if you're having a debate, you want to win debate, ask Daiki to give you good fortune to do so. Maybe you're a politician and you want, you're an incumbent and you want to keep your seat or you want to beat the incumbent. You play, pray to Taiki for good luck. You know, she is a, she became also is a goddess of gambling, playing, playing the lotto, legal and illegal gambling. Not telling you to do illegal gambling at all. I'm just saying she's a goddess of, of all types of games of chance, not just dice. That's a mistake when people say, oh, she's only the goddess of good luck with dice and dice games. No, she's good luck. She is good luck in picking the right numbers or she's a good luck with, and by the way, good luck with that. Uh, playing the roulettes, playing the games of cards and dice. She is also a goddess, of course, to change your luck. She can also change another person's luck. You can actually pray to her for someone to lose, to have bad luck and bad fortune and explain why. And, and, and you know, but she also can help someone to have good luck, including you, and she can help you with your mojo hand and your make a nice bag for good luck and to to be lucky in all things. Mew Mew, you okay? Sir Mew Mew? Whoa. Okay, I'll be right back. I got an issue. Come in, Mew Mew. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, what's up? Okay, I got you. I got you, boo-boo. I got you. Okay. I'll be right there, guys. I got a cat emergency. Okay. Oh, boo boo. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're back. Cats come first. Hello. <sighs> what was I talking about? Oh, to give you good fortune, good luck, you can do spells for that. Now, in the Roman temples, I don't know if this was done in the Greek temples. I believe so, but I'm not 100% for sure. But I know in the Roman temples, fortunes, people's fortunes were told. Oh, so one can, when you see fortune, the fortune teller... You can call upon Fortuna. But it wouldn't surprise me if uh, fortunes were told in the Greek temples. She deals with bringing good fortune to your home, your family, and your business. So you can bless your cash register to her. Bless your money to her. Bless your wallet to her. Bless your bank account to her. Bless uh, investments to her. You know, uh, promise her something. If I get this, I'll give you A, B, and C, whatever. You know, fill in the blanks. And keep your promises to this goddess. Understand that if she answers your prayer and you do not keep your end of the bargain she'll take it away and she can make you worse off than you were before word of caution if you promise her say I don't know if you promise to give a quarter of your fortune to those who are less fortunate or or to whatever or you promise to give her you know 10% of your fruit or 
that you've grown or if you promise her something, you better give it to her. You better give it to her. A-S-A-P. If you can't get it right away, just explain to her and give her little gifts and, you know, so you can get it. You know, keep her satisfied because Tyke is fickle. She could just be, take it away from you, pull the rug out from under you, leave you in a worse position for not honoring her. And I'm not trying to scare you away from her. I'm just saying if you owe something. This is the same thing with Santa Muerte people. If you owe Santa Muerte, you better pay. <laughs> so, it's same thing with Taiki. You better pay. Taiki is a fickle goddess. She she is like luck and, and money. It's here one minute and it's gone the next. She's She doesn't stay static. She moves and moves and moves and moves. So you got to catch her attention. Okay. It's like someone with severe ADD. ADHD. You have to get their attention. Or she'll lose it. Okay. If you know. If a movie doesn't catch my attention. After a bit. I'm done with it. Sometimes I'm just done with it. You know. Unless they say hey it gets better. You know. But. It, it's it's not saying she has ADD. I'm just saying she is fickle. Okay? You have to get her attention. So. That's something I want to... warn you about oh what's going on guys hang on cats which cat is doing what No, you guys are like poltergeist. And were you eating something you're not supposed to be eating? Oh my god. Okay, one cat is on a special diet and can't be eating other cat's diet. Caught you. <laughs> Oh, God. So, Taiki can help you with good luck with fertility. You can have good luck with pregnancy. To pray to the Taiki, may I have good luck and a good healthy child, or good luck with uh, having a small or a big family. You can pray to her for... It was prayed to her. People prayed for her for that, and also prayed that they would be lucky in love. And have good, I mean, to this day, pe people who put the preacher and say, may I have a good date? May I have good luck finding my soulmate? May I have, uh, uh, you know, good luck on my business trip? And also, good luck of... Uh, May I be, have the good fortune of meeting good friends or the good fortune of meeting a good business partner. So any type of luck is game with her. Any type of fortune. Oh, what else about her? She... I swear these cats. They're up they're always up to something. If if you're new to the channel, this this is the house of 
the crazy cats. All eight crazy cats. <laughs> so, being that she can tell his fortunes, if your tarot cards come out as fucked up, or your oracle card, you can pray to Fortuna to, if this can be changed, to please change it. Or make it, like, if you're meant to have an accident, a car accident, it could be a difference between a trip to the hospital or a fender bender. So, I'll take the fender bender. <laughs> that was meant to happen. So it, it, it's a difference when you fall. You can either, you're meant to fall, but instead of having a gash, you'll just have a little bruise and a little scrape. Again, she can lessen the bad fortune and increase the good. So, And she one thing that she loves is gratitude. Gratitude for what you have. She wants you to be grateful. When you show her ingratitude for what she gives you, why should she give you any more? If, if you're ungrateful for the apple I gave you, why should I give you a steak? And if you're un if you're ungrateful for the steak, why should I give you a side of lobster with it? You know what I mean? If you're not grateful for the ten dollars I gave you, why should I give you a hundred? Do you understand that? When someone is grateful, people are more likely to give to you and care about you. When you're ungrateful, they'll just you know you're ungrateful. I'm not doing this for you anymore. You know, it's like when someone's ungrateful to you, no matter what you do, are you going to do it for them? All right, I'm sorry, your mother or something, sometimes like, Ugh. but you, you're still thinking I would have done more for this person or my mother if they were grateful, you know, if they, if they were grateful when I was poor and I, and I gave them a little thing from the 99 cent store. And now that I'm rich, I, I'm not saying I'm rich. I'll go to Bloomingdale's and buy the most lavish things for them. So, if if you're just being a greedy douchebag, why should the spirits help you? I mean, Taiki again. She is fickle, so she may or may not help you. But let me put let me put it in that way. But if you're ungrateful to her, yeah. Not going to go good with her. She it was not the biggest deity. Like among the 12 Olympians. But she had her own importance. So she brings on, okay, so the goddess, is sometimes said to be blindfolded, her eyes covered, which means she doesn't always see, she is said in this aspect, she doesn't see who she gives to, she just gives blindly. And that fortune favors sometimes the idiot. But here we don't see her blindfolded. We see her capable of seeing who she's given to. Here goes Loki. So, the good luck in health. Some people got 
The good luck can help. Some people got bad luck. And if you don't have health, if you don't have good health, how can you enjoy so much as the the wealth and going on trips and, you know, going shopping? You want to have good health. So she can help you. Well, sometimes you need money to have good health. So it's like a catch-22 there. But... She can bring as much as just giving you the good fortune of a good day. Or a good fam, good fortune of a good family. So some people who, who were said to not have a care in the world and didn't have to lift, you know, a finger to do shit or break, sweat, break a sweat said they were blessed by Taiki from birth. So, that's something to keep aware of. So, fortune, like the wheel of Taiki, like the wheel of fortune, ebbs and blows. It goes up and down. It constantly tur turns. It is never static. But she's never static. So you know the game of Wheel of Fortune? Where does it land? Do you get the greatest gift or you get shit? Or bad luck, you know? Wow, wow. So, Apollonius said that fortune disapproves of you. If Tyche disapproves of you, nothing can turn out right. Everything you do will be wrong. Everything you try to do will be wrong. And nothing will work out for you. So only, uh, you know, getting her attention can it be remedied. Well, she's one of the deities that can remedy it. Yes, there's so many Greek deities that can help you. So, some of her colors. Well, her main color that I know of is gold. Gold. That's why I have this gold color. I heard of people associating green for good luck with her. There are modern things that are used for good luck. And like the lucky horseshoe now, the two pairs of dice, the tree, the, the, the four leaf clover. Again, the dice is traditional, but a lot of these other things have been added during, uh, Modern times. Now in Rome, I know April 1st, <laughs> April Fool's Day. So she can make uh, a fool out of you, I guess. But she can also change your luck. Now, April 1st, as well as June 11th, or her days, especially in Rome. Okay, so the Fortinalia, which was uh, the festival of Fortuna, Goddess Fortune, actually coincide with, guess which solstice, the summer solstice. The longest day of the year. So it actually, another day is the summer solstice. Offerings. Offerings. 
there was a blend of uh, this was traditional it was a blend of milk honey and poppies also another uh, uh, traditional offering was cakes made in the shape of a wheel so other things that you can give her sweet things mm. sweet syrups sweet drinks think of uh, modern day sodas maybe a Pepsi or a Coca-Cola or Mountain Dew think of juices think of sweet fruits like grapes uh, a sweet since she is water element goddess she her element is water she's not a water elemental but her her element is water think of star fruits and melons also think of uh, sweet fruits as apples and pears Give her sweet berries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, chocolate dipped fruits, dried sweetened fruit. Oh, she loves sugar. She loves candy. So give her that, the sweet candies like the now and laters and lollipops. And she loves the, uh, basically what would be considered a uh, fairy crack. I don't know anyone in pagan community may ever made fairy crack. It's like this type of really sweet stuff. Rot your teeth. Uh, but she loves sweet stuff and chocolates and dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Uh, the bitter chocolate, she could do without. So if it's dark chocolate, make sure it's not bitter. Milk chocolate and white chocolate. She loves honey cakes. And pot fruit pies, pies in general, especially fruit pies, apple pies, cherry pies, blueberry pies. She loves cream. Give her some whipped cream on some of this stuff. Give her a whole can of whipped cream. Give her a bag of sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, uh, non unprocessed sugar, the raw sugar. Try to stay away from giving her like sour dishes or spicy dishes. I would not give her any spicy honey or any spicy food. If you want to call her for good luck. You don't want to sour your luck. You don't want to have anger in your good luck. So... Stay away from sour stuff. Give her cookies. Sweet cereals. Cereals that been sweet like Frosted Flakes or Fruity Pebbles. She she really likes that. But if you have uh, natural cereals that have raisins in it, like Raisin Bran or just the healthy stuff, the Kashi that has fruit in it, that's fine. You don't want to give her bland cereal. Yeah. Give her breads, especially brioche bread, raisin bread, cranberry bread, apple bread. You can give her a fruit and nut mix. But don't give her that stuff that when you take these, uh, you know, those uh, little party mix and that it just makes your mouth feel hot or dry. You don't want to give her that. Not at all. Fresh water is always good for her. Especially fresh, clean water. So, just for her, you might want to give her a purified water. You don't want to use, like, hard water. I, I, I'm not kidding on this. Okay? Because you, you giving her purified water would be 
some deities will accept tap water. But again, remember, she's fickle and also it could represent hurting your luck or, you know, give her spring water to be on the safe side or put it through a purifier. If, if you don't have that, that's fine. Give her what you have. Again, uh, sweet wines. When you offer her wine, make sure it's sweet. Champagnes are good, especially sweet stuff. If you give her a mixed drink with alcohol, make sure it's very sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So... So, Augustus Caesar said that Daiki was like a blessed him. Taiki, I mean, ta that Fortuna has blessed him and that he basically, I guess, said like a spiritual mother to him. So that's also she had uh, different shrines, especially one in Athens. She is Tyche, but in Rome, she uh, she had a major, a major major shrine in uh, Trastevere. Also, she had a shrine in the Forum. So, they're also in uh, archaeologists in around, what is it? I think it's around 2007-2008. Un uh, discovered and uncovered a temple that was dedicated to Jupiter but also to Fortuna in Israel. And that was the uh, capital of the Galilee region during the era of when Rome occupied Israel and uh, later on a church was built over this site isn't that just like the Catholics just building your shit on top of the pagan stuff knock over the pagans and you know t knock over their homes and put our home on it So, of course, her flowers that she liked was poppies. You forward poppies. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> There's also a famous Greco-Roman marble statue that is from Rome called Tyche of Antioch. Look that up, Tyche of Antioch. Now, in of course, Roman, she in Rome, Ty Tyche is Fortuna, and she is the daughter of Jupiter. Of Jupiter. So, depending uh, on different cults, 
Taiki can be the sister of different deities of, uh, you know, according to the Alkman, the Alkman fragment, uh, she is the sister of a goddess Eunomia, right order. She is a sister of Pytho. So it, it, it all depends on her lineage. Okay. So, other things are that things that you can also use to represent her and give to her and to, is to give her a cornucopia. That's another offering. Give her a cornucopia or a horn mead. Ah! That's what I was looking for. Sweet mead. Mead made of, especially mead, M-E-A-D, made of, well, both M-E-A-D and M-E-A-D-E, -E, two different things. Oh, good for him. M-E-A-D is fermented honey. M-E-A-D-E -E is wine with honey. So they're not the exact, they're not the same thing. So, but they're both, they're both, uh, good for her. You can give her a horn filled with uh, fruit juice, you know, like a horn. I'm not talking about the instrument. I'm talking about the drinking horn. So, anyways, when she is displeased, oh, ho, ho, it is said she, she turns herself into a giant woman with a purple shoe, and her face is wicked, and she's got an evil smile, and the smile is not good, or she can bare her teeth. And she has a maniacal, sinister laughter that you do not want to hear. And another form, when she's not happy, is that she can appear where shadows should not be. And when you see these shadows that should not be when she appears, you understand she's not happy. She's not the beautiful goddess. She's got her, her nasty side showing to you. And it says that those who are blessed with her, sometimes people who do not see her, but the person sees her, is the one being blessed. So, also... There's an aspect called you, you Taiki, and you means good, so it means good luck. So that's also you can call her that you Taiki. Eutychia, that's what I was looking for. Sorry, Eutychia. Correct myself. Eutychia. E-U-T-Y-C-H-I-A. Eutychia. Sorry. So that means, that was a goddess of good luck and prosperity and wealth. E-U-T-Y-C-H-I-A. Eutychia. I will, I will correct myself when I'm wrong. I'm not going to be an asshole and not correct myself and act like I can't do anything wrong. If you get a teacher like that who says they can't do everything wrong and they know everything and blah, 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 walk away because most likely they're, they're con artists or they're fool themselves or they're narcissists. And you don't want a full-on full, full -on narcissist 
teaching you because they will always find a way to make you feel stupid and they they feel great so just be careful of that please i'm not going to go into it i was about to but i don't want to get off topic So she was said that she was that she assisted different deities for them to have good luck. There was what even a story where Zeus ordered made a command to Taiki to show all of humanity two different ways. One, a freedom. One, one uh, liberty, and, and uh, like freedom, liberty, and independence. And the other way was dependence and slavery. So it was said that both the slave and the master worship, couldn't worship Taiki. All people that her arms, good or bad, sort of like Santa Muerte, that her arms are close to no one, but it's a different reason. But her, she, that she is there to give good or bad fortune freedom or slavery as in one story where Zeus commanded her to do so but there's, there's also another uh, well to, that's a far not that I'm not going to get into it because it replaces Tyche with Prometheus so, and Prometheus will come one day, but not now. We're talking about Tyche. And so remember, good luck, Eutychia. Oh. my <laughs> statue. Here's Joker. Hi, Joker. Joker's making an appearance, everybody, with his cute little bow tie. I changed his collar. He's the only one that wears a collar. He loves his collar. So... What else can I talk about her? Oh, another representation that you can give her offerings. And I forgot. I forgot. Give her jewelry. Especially gold and silver. Platinum. Gems. You can give offering her gems, diamonds, rubies, sapphires. Gold and silver coins or denomination. Don denominational coins and cash dollar bills doesn't you know give her some currency it was said that the first I think it was Pindar that said the first dice was made in honor of her so dice is a great two two dice so one die is one dice is more than one, two or more. So, give her a pair of dice. You can give her some gambling chips to represent good fortune. So, she's 
she likes uh, finer things in life. The silks, the velvet. Uh, or velveteen. And she likes uh, sequins and glitter. Be careful of glitter. Because it can get, it can really get in your eye and cut and, and hurt an animal. So you want to give it to her in a jar where it won't get all over because glitter oh my god just gets over everything yes I have experienced that oh uh, Candles to use for her are gold and silver. So those are ideal of candles. Uh, anything else about her? Her offspring. I almost forgot. When I say Plutus, P L O U T O S. So that's according to Pausinians. So according to Pausinius, sorry, Pausinius, not Pausinians, Pausinius, P L O U T O S. Was her child. So yes. She does have a kid. And he was a god. Of. Ding ding ding. Wealth. And money. And prosperity. So. And of course. Plutus was. Originally. About agricultural. Uh abundance and fertility but then he became to be known as wealth in general hey boo boo stop it joker leave little boo alone lady boss doesn't want to play with you she don't like you you annoy her you know how she is come on i'll be right back leave her alone can you go amuse yourself somewhere else here. Oh, damn it. Lunch? Here. Go play with it. Do I have to physically put you down somewhere else? Here we go. So, like I said later, he was originally a god of agricultural bounty and then later on became for general wealth. Blah. So, but sometimes Pluthos was seen as a, a daughter of Demeter after she lay with uh, the hero of Jason, Jason, or Jason, I can't, I, I don't think it's Jason, it's probably Jason, A-A-I-S-I-O-N. And thrice plowed field. I don't think it's the Jason of the <laughs> Jason, I believe. Not well, and I'm getting ahead of myself. So, what I do know about Plutos is sometimes he's a boy holding, like his mother, cornucopia of grain, but. I don't know a lot about 
Brutos. I know about Bruto and Adis. Of course, I did a presentation on him. So, use Taiki in summoning. Use Taiki to have an abundance of all things food. You want abundance of food. You want abundance of money. Maybe abundance of land. Abundance of luxury items. Maybe you want that big TV. That 85 inch big TV. Maybe you want abundance of also medicines. Medicinal supplies is always a good to have. Abundance of good friends and good luck. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm sure there's, 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 there's lots to learn about the deities. And I hope you learned something about Taiki. Also, whether you're watching this today or 10 years from now, I, since I do not have a Patreon account, I'm not asking for one cent, feel free to throw those good luck spells at me. And good fortune spells and spells, you know, and prayers that money keeps coming to me and good luck keeps coming to me and good friends and good times and happiness. I will accept all of that. And spells of protection for me and my cats and healing for all my cats, especially uh, poor little Lord Maximus was in the vet. Nary was at the veterinarian again. He's got a little bite. Uh, this little one, this little clown, bit him, and so he has on antibiotics right underneath Maximus' uh, pervert areas. Luckily, it, it it didn't hit you know what, but that was mean, Joker. Not nice, but yeah, I love all my cats. So bless them, even Joker, <laughs> with good health. Right, Joker? Because I love you. Yeah. And you can also do spells to make them get along. I, w I wouldn't mind that. I, I do spells myself, so. <laughs> but anyways, also, if you feel blessed with money, then bless others. Even if it's only a few dollars. Or bless someone with a sandwich. Or bless an animal. Sanct uh, 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 a sanctuary. Or people who save animals. Uh, it's just like the ASPCA. The North Shore Animal League. You know, help them out. Donate some litter. Donate some food. Donate some treats. You know, donate things to places that go around and saving animals. A humane society. Or something. Or some, some of these are not, do not get government money. They rely solely on... The good wills of other people. Or even bless them with your time. But anyways, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, blessed be.